so I just want to talk about this real quick. Um, I don't like talking about it. And yeah, I don't like talking about it. It's not this like serious, but uh, so I was streaming uh, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 3 Remake, and some guy came out of nowhere and was telling me in Spanish saying um when are you gonna play Blacklight Retribution on the PS5 or PS4 version in my head I was like ah. in my head I was like are you serious like I started a new channel how the hell can people still find me of that game I only I only uploaded two videos on the new channel. That's it. This channel I have two videos. And that's it. I think that's the only thing. I that was the only two days I played it. That's it. And my old channel I used to have a lot of BLR games, a lot of Blacklight Retribution games. The, the other channel it was just pure Blacklight Retribution videos a lot. And I just want to talk about this story thing. So when I told him that that guy on the on the stream. I just laughed. I didn't want to be rude. I just laughed because I was like, what do you want me to do? Like, like, what do you want me? Like, and he tells me, he was telling me, when I said ha ha, when I laughed, but not in the rude way on the on the stream, when I was playing on Resident Evil 3 Remake, and he told me about the BLR game, the Black, Blacklight Retribution game, he was telling me, oh, uh, the game even died even worse. It died worse, but in Spanish, like, it just went worse. And that's what I was thinking to my head, like, what do you want me to do, man? You you think I'm the only person that, that could actually revive that game? No. No, I can't. That was back then when I was, like, super serious at the game. I was super serious, like, yeah, I wanted to make the game grow. Yeah, I helped a lot, but I don't got no f fucking thank you. I got no thank you from nobody. I used to play that game like non goddamn stop, and no one said thank you. I said, oh thank you, um, Anthony, for like at least streaming in the game so for so long, and at least trying to help the community grow. I got no thank you from no viewers, nobody. I don't got no thank you. The devs didn't say thank you. Uh, there was a guy on the private chat. Um, uh, on Discord, on on BLR, on Black Lives Retribution, on Discord, uh, named Ada, he told me the thank yous. Okay, I appreciate it. At least he told me the thank yous. But HSL didn't say thank you to me. The community didn't say thank you. And this guy that told me that question about the, like I said, what I just repeated right now, telling me the the game is more dead. Like I said. Why, why, why you want me to stream it just to help out the community? I'm not, the, I'm not the number one, top one guy that they'll actually help it out and grow it. Like I said, no one said thank you, so what's the point? And I stopped playing it too because just there's no updates. There's too much toxic in the community. Uh, new players are giving up now for the game. They don't know nothing about the game. The old gen people, some of, some of the old gens from, from Blacklight Retribution, they all left. Some of them left already. It's not, it's like, it, it's already unpopular. And you know how the game died? It's basically money, time, toxic and some, so almost half toxic in the community. That's how it died. That's how it died. In my opinion, that's how I died. And I'm just, I just don't want to play no more. It's like, I moved on and I'm surprised. I don't want to be beef with the person. I respect him, but I'm just, like the guy that told me, I, I'm not mad at him. I'm just, I'm just tired hearing it. Like, when are you going to play Black Lives Retribution? Like, dude, I don't play that no more. I just don't play it. I'm not the only guy that's good. I'm I'm not the popular guy that will like like I said. I'm not the person that will help out Black Lives Retribution. 
all the, all the, every time when I go there, I got too much hate and, and, and no, I'm not like, like gonna cry over, oh, you got too much hate so you stop playing the game. No, I'm just tired of the toxic, the toxic too. I'm just tired of that. Like, like nowadays it's like more like, I don't know, like I don't know how to explain it, it's just like, I don't know, man. But like I said, no one said thank you all these years I played. Like, and plus no one was, it's just, I, I couldn't grow. I couldn't grow the channel no more. I, I couldn't do it. For one game, I couldn't grow. And I, I didn't want to bring this up, but I had, a, I think it's time to bring it up. On the Discord, on the BLR community, I left the community. Straight up, I left the community. I don't said nobody goodbyes or nothing. I left the community. I just left. No, no questions. I don't even. That's it. I just left. I gave up. In my head, I just I gave up. I, I'm like, I can't be here anymore. I can't be in this community no more. I'm just tired. You know, I'm tired playing the same game. No, don't get me wrong. The game was fun. Don't get me wrong. I met some incredible people out there. Way back then in 2014, I met some cool people, and that and and then I met a lot of people that are toxic. Like I'm like, I don't know why that community couldn't be like respectful. It was just too much toxic. I don't know. It just came out of nowhere. Don't like new players were having like regular people were having fun. And I don't know where a lot of toxic people took over too on the game. And that's how I died too. That's how I died. Yeah, I don't want to be pissed off on the, on the video. I'm just explaining that I'm just tired hearing the, the, the name Black Lives Retribution. I'm just tired hearing it. And like I said, or like I just repeated myself so many times. No one said thank you, like I said. So there's no point in me to go on and play the game. And I did, like I said, I did. I was, the, I felt like I was the only person that streamed like hardcore in that game, like super hardcore. I streamed hardcore. I used to play like non fucking stop. I'm sorry for cussing, but that it's just like I play like non stop. I grinded like hardcore, and it kind of did ruin my my. My life too, to be honest, it kind of ruined my my life. I was getting more fatter. I was getting more depressed. And my main goal was in that game was just trying to grind like the highest prestige. Even though prestige doesn't mean nothing for anybody. But for me it was an achievement because I was like going non-stop my whole life. No workouts. I ate a lot of unhealthy food. Just, just stuff, and I was doing. I was, I was actually doing a lot of depression on that game. A lot. That game got me super hardcore depressed. I couldn't get off that game. I couldn't get off in that game. But still, in my head, I was like, I love this game. I wanted it to grow, but it never happened. Nothing. And that's why I stopped playing the game, man. I'm I'm feeling a little bit better now. No, what? Well, not not a little bit. I feel more better for leaving the game because I have so many games out there that I still gotta I still gotta experience. I can't stay in one game. And um, yeah, and right now I have this new channel. I hope some people don't. Some some of the new people that follow me, they don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. But if it comes, but if there's somebody that comes across uh, across around in my channel, some old people from my from my old channel saying, "Oh, I remember this guy he used to play BLR," they'll be like, "Oh, I want some more BLR videos." Sorry, man, there's no more BLR videos. The only reason why I play those two days is because I was hardcore. Like bored, like I played all these games I used to play that that I bought. I played them off, 
and I was super hardcore bored. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get to be a lawyer for a, for a while, for one hour only. But um, yeah, that's that's the reason why I left. Like mostly, mostly for good now because you don't see me play billiard for a long ass time. So for the old for old people that I, that I don't know if they follow me again or whatever. For the new people, don't worry about what I'm saying. For the new people that, that just follow me, don't worry about it. But I'm just talking about my old fans that maybe they finally found me in this channel again. So yeah, I'm, like the guy I told him, I'm sorry, man. I, I I can't play. It's like I can't do nothing about it. You have to tell. You gotta find somebody a bigger YouTuber that will help out the community grow. Not me, man. Not me. You picking the you seeing the wrong person. That officially thinks that he's gonna come back and help us grow. But yeah, I, I streamed that game for like non-stop in my old channel, like non-goddamn stop. It was crazy to think about it. Like I spent my whole life in one game. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I love the like I said, like I repeated myself, like yeah, it was a it was a fun game, but I was like, I gotta move on for real, man. I gotta I gotta buy other games. It's and then I'm like saying, like I always said to myself every day on those videos, like I'm old and I used to say every day, like bring some new updates. Even the whole some other community on um, BLR, they were like bring some updates. Yeah, I know the game is old, but it's, they still find ways to to add new maps. New characters, new weapons, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. So it's not really my fault. It's nobody's fault. It was them. I don't like saying. I don't. I don't like to bash on them, but it was like they needed to do more work, more improvement, but they never wanted to do it. So that's why the game is dead. So. If the, if ever Black Light Retribution shuts down for good, like for real, for real, then like I said, I just don't care anymore. If it does, it does, man. All my rare stuff that I had in there, all my prestige, if it ever shuts down one day, like hardcore, then I I won't really feel bad. I really won't, to be honest. I won't. Maybe a little bit, but I won't. So. Yeah, I just want to talk about that. Um, so, yeah, I do have the PS5. Some people might not believe me. I have a PS5. Back then, some people said, Oh, you don't have a PS5. But I finally got one, so it's cool. And I got this not to play the same game over and over. Hell, no, I got to buy games too on this console because I've been playing more PC stuff. Because PC has more games than the PlayStation. But sometimes, there's not games that I like on PS5. That's the reason why I haven't touched it. I haven't played it for a while. It's not like I hate my PS5. I, I, I love my PS5. I just got to find games that are, that are exclusive and they're fun to play. And then I'll actually play my PS5. But in the meanwhile, this PS5 is just take a long ass rest. Until one day I find a good game to stream. And then, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't want to play that no more on, on PS5 version, on this PS5. Sorry, man. So yeah, that's it. That's it I'm going to talk about. I don't want to keep talking. But yeah, um, for that guy, man, yeah. Just find somebody else or you, or you should start streaming and make yourself make that game grow. Because making the community grow like that for like a long ass time, it takes a lot of work, man. It takes a lot of work. Even those old school uh, people that do the clans battles, you should at least support them because they're the ones trying to make the community grow. Don't support me saying, oh yeah, you should play BLR again, you know? No. Sorry, man. You find all the cool people out there better than me. Better than me, basically. Better than me. So, yeah. I'm out then. Later.